Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here for our drawing of the day. Today we are drawing an owl sitting in a teacup. So another one of our teacup animals. I know we've done several teacup animals on this channel already. We've done, I think, a pup in a teacup. We've done a cat in a teacup, a mouse in a teacup, a pig in a teacup. So today it's owl's turn. All right, so I'm starting with Sharpie on paper, but you guys work with pencil and eraser first just in case you make a mistake. So I'm gonna start with my owl's head. So for the owl's head, I actually start with two big circles like this. And mine are touching. After I have these two big circles, I'm gonna go ahead and draw another circle inside those circles. And after I have that circle, I'm gonna draw, even I know, lots of circles today. I'm gonna draw another circle inside and this circle's gonna have a couple sparkles in it because this is gonna be the center of the eye. So same thing on this side. Another circle, I'm gonna add some little sparkles in there. Like that. And then after we have our eyes, so there's three circles, one, two, three, there's even more circles if you count the sparkles. So there's an outer circle, a middle circle, and an inner black circle. After you have those eyes on, I'm gonna add a little beak, and it's just a down, up, that's it. Owl's beaks are pretty easy. And then after you have the beak on, we're gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the head. So to do that, I'm gonna start here next to the eyes, and I'm gonna swoop just under the beak, and then back up like this. And then after we have that letter U for the bottom of the head, we're gonna do the top of the head. So to do the top of the head, I'm just gonna do a swoop, like that. So it's just like a, like a slight curve. Because owls, they have like, like pointed, I don't wanna call them ears, I don't know what they are, but on the sides of their head, they're kind of like pointed. I don't like, think they might be like feathers or something, but they have like little points on the side of their ears. So that's why I made it kind of curve down the top of the head. And then if you guys wanna put something extra on your owl, a lot of times with these, I'll put like a little flower, a little birthday party hat or something, um, a tiara if you want like a princess owl. You can put like something on the owl's head if you want. After we have that part done, I'm gonna go ahead and do just a hint at the side of the body here and just a hint at the side of the body there. So just two curved lines coming down. And then I'm actually gonna draw one of its wings kind of holding the edge of the cup. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So to do that, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna start at this edge and I'm gonna go swoop, 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 like that. And then I'm gonna connect it back to the head. So it looks like its little feathered wing is just perched right on the edge of the cup. After you have that part done, I'm gonna add a wing that's kind of like waving a little bit. So I'm gonna have a wing that's gonna come up from this side of the head and it's gonna be saying hi, like that. And I'm not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to connect it back here um, to the body because I'm gonna have the teacup coming around here like this. So you don't have to worry about connecting that part if you don't want to. So now we have our owl, but we need to draw the edge of the teacup to make it look like it's sitting in a teacup. So the way I do that is I start at the cheek here and I come like this and I come around, hit the wing, come around and hit the wing like that. So it looks like it's sitting in a teacup. After you have that part done, we're gonna draw the rest of our teacup. And that's easy because it's just a letter U. That's it. And then, to make it look like a teacup and not a bowl, we gotta have a handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw two curves for the handle of our teacup. 
And then with teacups, I always like to color. So like I always like to decorate and add like lots of little details. So here's maybe like another polka dot. So I'm gonna throw some polka dots on here, here and there. Maybe a couple more down here. Maybe one over here, and one in the corner. There, so that's, it's a really pretty teacup. So I don't usually leave my teacups like a plain color. I put stripes or hearts or whatever you want, but decorate your teacup a little bit. And the last thing we have to do before we start coloring is we've got to put our teacup on a table like this. That way our teacup's not falling. It's sitting on a table. Now we're ready for coloring. For coloring, we can color these any way that we want. This is my favorite part. So if you want your owl to be pink and purple or green and red, you can make your owl any color that you want. So. One thing I do do usually is I usually with owls, I'll make my beak usually like yellow or gold, sometimes even orange if I want. And then also I like to make the eyes. Sometimes I'll leave them white and sometimes I'll all or or I will make them yellow like this. So this this owl has golden eyes. So after you get those parts done, the rest of the owl can be any colors you want. So I might do like some purple around the eyes. I think that might be really pretty. But again, you guys can do different colors if you want. And sometimes even with like, when I'm doing um, the owl's eyes like this, um, the outer circle, sometimes I'll even do like little stripes. I'm trying to see if I have like a dark purple. I don't know if, I, oh yeah, I do. I'm a dark purple. So sometimes I'll take like another color, like even if it's close, like a dark, oh, like a dark purple like this, and I'll like draw like little decorations, like little lines around the eyes, just to make it look a little more interesting, like that. All right, so I might do the same thing to the other eye. See, and it's just like, I always like adding these little details if I can, and it's not like that much work. It's just like a little extra. All right, so there's the purple for the eyes. Um, and then I might, let me see, do I want to do orange, pink, blue, green? I'm trying to decide, I have so many favorite colors, I have a hard time deciding. Okay, maybe green, green might be pretty. So I might do green for the head, but again, you guys can choose your favorite colors. And you don't have to make owls like the colors they are in real life, like they don't have to be like white or gray or brown, they can be any colors. That's the fun part about coloring, is that you guys can use, like be really creative and use like, colors that you would never see on an owl. You can even do it like striped if you wanted to. That might be kind of fun like on the belly or on the wings to have them striped. So I might try to use lots of colors. Maybe I'll even do some orange. Like this, I like that. All right, so I'm getting close. And I color really fast, guys. You color slow and careful. Also, I'm working with colored pencil, but you guys just work with what you have. So if you have crayons at home, or you have markers, or maybe you're lucky and you have paint, just work with what you have. You guys can, you can draw and color this out with whatever you have at home. You don't have to be using colored pencils just like me. All right, and then maybe, do I wanna go back to purple? Or do I wanna do, see this is me trying to decide, I have so many, colors that I love that I have a hard time narrowing it down. All right, I'm gonna make my belly match the eyes, I think. So there's some, a little more purple in there. All right, then when you're done with your owl, you can go ahead and move on to your cup. So one thing I like to do with my cup is typically I like to make the inside of the cup and the outside of the cup different colors. So let's say I pick like blue for the inside of my cup. Oh, this is a really bright blue. All right, so this is gonna be the inside of my cup. I'm gonna make it like this, like bright blue color like this. And then I'm gonna go around here. So since I'm doing this part blue, the inside of the cup blue, that means the outside of the cup I will not do blue. I like to do it a different color so you can see, you can tell the difference between the inside of the cup and the outside of the cup. And then of course your decorations, the polka dots, I'm probably gonna make them like rainbow colored. I'm gonna probably make them very colorful. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys can finish coloring this any way that you want. 
Um, I am so glad you were able to draw with me and I will be continuing to post these art lessons every single day at 1 p.m. So I really hope that you join me again tomorrow.